Okay, uh, I'm testing my Cabonix uh, incubator. It's a 12 egg incubator. This is day one. Okay, so this is pretty much a plug and play type system. Um, recommends like to reset it. So you press the menu and negative uh, together for three seconds, then uh, eight, 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 uh, four eights appear there, uh, and then it's set up, right? Like, you know, it's reset. Uh, once you have that, then you press this menu button again, and then D21 should pop up, okay? So all that was done, and um, it's set, so it's plugged in, it's set up. Um, the white eggs I have here, I put three Cornish cross eggs in there. I've seen the roosters uh, getting busy with the Cornish cross. So uh, they say that's practically impossible according to videos I've seen. Uh, but I wouldn't mind just testing it out. And like I said, this is just a test. So <laughs> I'm not worried too much uh, about if it works or not. So I selected all these eggs are fresh. They don't even have three days. Uh, so let's see what happens. Okay, so Lewis out. I'll be back within around 14 days and I'll probably use the, the candler just to see if uh, there's movement in the eggs or whatever. Okay, so Lewis out. Oh, okay, this is day three. Uh, I was reading uh, more of the instructions. Uh, according to the instructions, you got to line this little thing right here. Even though I figured that one out because I had seen the, I had seen a video. So, uh, you know, that was said in the video. Hey, you know, make sure it clips on to this little thing right here. See this little notch? You have to move it so you hear it like clip down. Um, then I was watching another video and I was reading the instructions and the humidity has to be around 50. Um, I had to remove all the water because I'm in the tropics. So right now, uh, the humidity here is about 95%. Okay. In Puerto Rico. Um, so trying to keep the humidity uh within 50 i'm last night i took and i removed the water it went down from 76 uh percent humidity uh to about 62 after about i would say after about two hours uh and now early in the morning uh it's 57 percent. so i'm gonna be keeping my eye on that no water no water for over six water uh for over six hours already and it's at 57 percent. okay so it's three days uh and to keep the humidity somewhere near the 50s uh i had to remove the water so if you live like in the tropics or any place that's super humid you might have to do that i know the last three days uh, the humidity has to be around at 75%. The second I put a little bit of water here, I'm 100% sure it's going to go to 76. That I know, that I already know. Because uh, when I had first started heating it up, the humidity here never went down uh, past 60. Okay, so uh, everything's good. Oh, uh, and then once it's set up, like, let's say you want to test the eggs, you push the plus button right here. See, the eggs move. That's the test to make sure the eggs are rotating. Uh, the rotating tray is working, uh, good. Uh, again, make sure it's clipped on right there. Uh, and after seven days, I'll start candling to see if the eggs are fertilized. Okay, I saw a video, so, you know, I'm a incubating virgin, so, uh, Lewis out. Okay, it's day four, no water. Uh, 
Humidity at 59%, the lowest I've seen humidity go without no water. And it hasn't been without water for about, I would say, a good three days now. Uh, has been 55%, okay? So in the tropics, I don't think you could put water, okay? Uh, but this is not why I'm making the video. Right now, there's a power outage. And that would that would have probably just screwed up the countdown and everything. So this is being done off grid, okay? Right now, there's a power outage, okay? So Lewis out. Okay, I'm candling. Let me turn off the flash. But check this out. You can see the movement inside the egg right here. And let me put the flash back on. This is a Cornish, a Cornish cross uh, uh, <laughs> egg. All three of them are fertilized. Okay, this is gonna be interesting. Okay, uh, because I seen the Cornish cross uh, getting busy with uh, how could I put it? It's uh, my wild rooster, uh, also known as uh, uh, <laughs> uh, jungle fowl. Okay, but check this out. Okay, I got the black spot right there and it's moving all three of them are yeah all three of them are fer fertilized okay let me do another one okay there's another one there's the little black dot right there and i see it moving so i believe this one's good as well okay i'm new at this so this for me is like uh, amazing, okay? So loose out. Okay. Let's hit the menu button. It's uh, three days away. Uh, I now put water in here. It has to be distilled water, okay? Forgot to mention that, but since I wasn't using water, you know, but it has to be distilled water, okay? So I actually put distilled water right now. Humidity is at 73. Uh, it's the last three days, okay? The little light here that was green is now off. Uh, that's the little thing that turns uh, the eggs, okay? It's not doing that anymore. I also removed this as instructed by the little book, the instructions. So now... Uh, this is the countdown. Uh, the last three days, I'll put up a video uh, once uh, the eggs start hatching, okay? Let, I'm a newbie when it comes to this. So let's see what happens. Okay, so Louis out. I hear some chirping and I see an egg moving. The egg that's right there on the other side of that one is actually moving. And I hear a little bit of chirping. So let's see what happens. Okay, the egg that was moving actually hatched. Uh, when I came back up, it, it, uh, it had hatched already. I'm paying attention to this one. You see this egg right here that's, that's cracked right there? Uh, that egg right there has already a crack in it. So, uh, the chicken's trying to, I, I'm gonna, let me see that. This one right here has a crack in it, okay? Uh, these are the eggs that interest me the most because these are Cornish cross hen eggs. Okay, so I have two roosters. I have a, a jungle fowl rooster and I have a, 
uh, I think a white, it looks like a lead corn, it could be a breeze as well. It's a big white rooster. Um, and I've seen the, both of them. Okay. I hear chirping. It could be from this egg. Yeah, I heard some chirping. But uh, let's check the thing. See, it's down to day one. Tomorrow in the afternoon, it goes to zero, zero. So, uh, yeah, I hear, I hear a little bit of chirping in there. So let's see what happens. Lewis out. Okay, in the middle of the night, I got two more. But check this out. One of the eggs was the Cornish cross egg. <laughs> so I got a winner. Uh, let me just show it. <laughs> There's two white ones. So there they go. One of these two. It will be the big, it'll be the bigger one. It has to be, not that one, but this, probably this one. Uh, when they start growing, you'll know these the Cornish cross uh, chickens grow pretty quick. So this is going to be interesting, okay? Lewis out.